Christ is risen. He is truly risen. Al Masiakum Hakankum Christos Anesti Alitos Anesti. This is Father John Paul from the Tantor Ecumenical Institute, greeting you from the Holy Land and from the Holy City of Jerusalem. It's a special time of year when we celebrate two Easter's. This past weekend, according to the Gregorian calendar, the Western Church celebrated Holy Week and Easter. And throughout this week, the Orthodox and Oriental traditions celebrate according to the Julian calendar. This is also a special time in which it is the Pesach, Passover, for the Jewish people as well as Ramadan. And so we have three great faith traditions that bring people of faith to come to this holy land, to this holy city, to pray. Unfortunately, is also a time that brings with it conflict, turmoil, disruption, and frustration, but a land that still yearns for and seeks for the peace and the joy of resurrection. We celebrate this Easter season with a real sense of resurrection, renewed life, renewed hope, because we know that from the darkness and a certain tomb over these past two years, we've seen a limit because of COVID. We've seen a certain degree of limitation of tourism and people bringing um, their desires to make a pilgrimage to this land because of conflict. But in this Easter season, we are experiencing new life, new hope. The joy of the resurrection fills this place. And we know that even with an experience of darkness and a certain experience of the tomb because of COVID, new life is emerging. It continually emerges. And so from this holy city, the peace of the Easter season, we wish for all of you. Here at the Church of the Holy Sepulchre, I can't help but think of how the Greek Patriarch of Jerusalem enters the Holy Tomb in complete darkness each year during the Easter Vigil. And he prays quietly and intently for the Holy Light to ignite his candle. And then, when mystically ignited, how that light is carried forth from the tomb how within minutes it spreads with great respect, with great rejoicing, with great singing, all throughout the Holy Sepulchre, throughout the city, and throughout the entire world. We pray for that holy light to fill us again, to renew us, to make us a light that shines in a world of darkness, and a light that impels us to work for peace, a peace that is rooted in a faith that does justice. A faith that is lived in a justice for all. We need that here in the Holy Land, in the midst of turmoil and conflict. But we also need that peace throughout our world, in the Ukraine, in other parts of the world, within our own communities and even within our own families. Jesus rising from the tomb and trampling upon death Granting life to all of those in the tomb isn't just about Jesus doing that. It's an invitation to all of us to be called from our tombs, to be a people of resurrection, and to do what we can to trample upon death, to give life to those who are still caught in darkness and in tombs. Easter is not just a one-time event. It's something that happens daily. It's meant to be lived throughout the year. And we are called to do it with hearts afire with the joy of the resurrection. Christ is risen from the dead, and by his death he has trampled upon death, granting life to those in the tomb. Christ is risen. He is truly risen. al Masiakum, Hakankom, Alitos Anesti. Christ is risen.